Yo, Matt. Is he in his office? I think so. What is up, YouTube? Today, I'm training with none other than Mr. Von Walker. We're training him to replace me in a few years, in every sense of the word. Some big shoes. Some big shoes. Really big shoes. You're gonna have to grow your feet a little bit, <laughs> an inch or two. And whenever I have to go to expos or meet and greets, I'm just gonna send him so I can stay home and just sleep and chill. He's a doppelganger. He's like the young, more youthful, less broken, but still kind of broken version of myself. So, we're gonna hit some chest today. You guys are how many weeks out? Uh, three and a half. Three and a half weeks yeah. out? First show is what? First show is what? What's it called? Uh, Garden States. Garden States. Yeah. Check out the merch. June 25th. This weekend. Yeah. <laughs> and then maybe something after, but we're focusing on that first. Classic and men's physique or just classic? So I've been thinking about it. I'll probably do both. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, just the way that like my well, legs are like melting off a, right now. It's a roast. <laughs> no, no I'm telling you. You can get more confidence on stage. Yeah. Stage time is always good. And you, when you're an amateur, sometimes you go on stage for 10 seconds, they pull you off and you're done. So like, if you don't care about spending an extra 150 bucks, which I know you don't, for the register, then... I might as well. Yeah, you, you're already ready. Yeah. Get, That's why I said, like, I'm gonna be peeled, like, hopefully I'm gonna be peeled already, so... Yeah. Might as well. Not right now, so... Yeah. Probably got a few more weeks. Right. But yeah, so we're gonna try and hit some chest, get a good workout, maybe pose after, and have a good old time. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this miserable workout. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just sell it. Just sell it. You can make bread off that one too. Yeah, so. Get very self conscious when you feel me dead on. Because my shoulders feel so lopsided. That was a 45 second set. That's hypertrophy, right? Yeah. I tried to match you, didn't fucking work though. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna start making t shirts for half the year that say half natty sea bum. Just so whenever I'm weaker than Mod, I have an excuse. <laughs> I don't think you'll ever have that problem. You're gonna be weaker than me. <laughs> I'm sure. My strength goes like this throughout the year, so. Yours is on a peak, while mine's on a decline? Mine's literally like. That's what you're for. I'll only train with you when you're like two weeks out. Like, cool, like, Bon, if I do this? I was sort of that. I did it once. I didn't even need to do it. It was at Alpha Land. It yeah. just feels right. Yeah. So many confidence, so I just started doing it. That was a double flip. Fuck, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> I'll try it. 
one, one day my Padawan, one day. I thought that contemplation in your mind. I'm like, I was like, are you reacting? I was gonna do it, and I was like, I don't wanna be a bitch. <laughs> probably made me, it probably made me look uh, Yeah, you just yanked pretty hard on that bar. Uh, well, before I even touch your chest, you're like, oh shit, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna beat myself now. I haven't done this in a long time. You haven't done this in a long time? I haven't got over three plates in a long time. Well, I've been doing dumbbells, though. Different. Punching a little above our weight right now. Hey, feel good. Hey, I feel better. Not great, but good luck. Come on, come on the Smith machine. Volume's coming in on the next workout. You gotta do another press after this? Yeah. Like we machine? Usually, we usually do either decline press or we do the that like the blue seated cable Oh the cable yeah. yeah. Which one do you prefer? The cable one? I usually do both. You ever do like Smith and then dumbbell on the same day or just like usually not. But I'm not opposed to it. I would just wouldn't go heavy. Like this is heavy. If I did dumbbell, I would do like 12 reps. Aim for something a little lighter, yeah. Especially that, for you guys. That. You can do that. Yeah. I feel like you guys need to do something with, like it's good in prep to do something to make you like strength. Yeah. You know, like sub eight reps or so. Yeah. But obviously you need volume as well. Yeah. This will keep you from getting a skinny weak bitch, and then you get some volume in afterwards. That's what I usually do at the end of prep. One thing like heavy to keep some strength in there. Yeah. And then. Do some more volume shit. So, deadlifts? Yeah, we're gonna deadlift after this. First. Never go first? Yeah, because I only have to get one more rep than you if you go first. <laughs> yeah. 
That's why you should do it. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing next? Back pull. Uh, I'll be next 120. 120? Yeah. You know, that'll warm up or work? I'll see how it feels. And then debating, or like seeing how that feels, I'll do 125 or 130 minutes. Pretty dramatic. There's a lot of people. <laughs> Bro, their weights are so light. I swear. Probably smart marketing. You don't want to change your gym and think it's going to be good. Two poles are packed. Look at each straight. Look at each straight. Look at each straight. 150s. I'm going to do the 150. I'm going to hurt myself. No, you won't. I'll break myself. If I didn't do Smith, totally would. Totally. Just tired. You you really need to put that on a t-shirt. What? I'm, just tired. I'm too tired. I'm too tired. I'm not that old yet. You're 28. Next, I'm not 28. It's next year for me. You're 27? Yeah. You didn't graduate high school at 17? I graduated in 2013. I started to feel the fatigue and like the stabilizers at this point. My body was like not feeling that.
I'm telling Bond right now, the secret to classic physique is being born with a big ass rib cage. It's the one secret. Other than that, you're gonna have to work for it and train for it, but if you have that one cheat code, count Can your you blessings get, and run with it, I guess. Can you get rib implants? You get rib implants? I mean, Marilyn Monroe got some taken out, so maybe if you know someone who wants to take those out, you can borrow theirs, put them in their place. Practice normally? Do you have shorts on? Or? Uh, no, I usually wear boxers. Okay. But yeah, I'm free ball for that. Per usual. Per usual. Hanging out with the trolley too much. Keep your hips where they were. So like hips like in the same spot they were. When you hit especially when you hit that. Uh, and try and get through yeah, rotate it up. So you're showing that. But if you get too stuck like over here, you want to make sure that your arms fully rotated and your chest is up when you're hitting a vacuum. Okay. <clears throat> Forward and then they'll twist like that on the other elbow. But it looks, Am it I looks doing fine. Backwards? What? No, no, it looks it doesn't matter. There's no right way. It's just what looks best on you. Okay. She's never seen someone hit it like that. I just I mean if it and you won't hurt my feelings if No, I'm straight. not. I'm not worried about hurting your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being I'm just interest, interested in watching it. I'm worried with it's really hard to tell, but when you like dehydrate and get fully peeled, if your leg is that straight out, you're it might look like long and skinny. Okay. You know, like it's yeah. so, so. Sometimes you want to like. High, that's why normal people like that. That looks good in classic poses, and that just so like look pretty. But in the front double, you're still a butt. You don't want to look skinny. You know. Yeah. So if you're starting to get leaner, and your leg is all the way out here, and it's like thinning out, instead of if they're like closer together, and your adductors are closer to touching, so there's no gap. But like if you pose in classic physique shorts, and there's a like gap between your thighs here, you don't really want that. Okay. So, so should I like try to go like more straight up with it though? Well, I'm not sure what your adductors are going to look like when you lean out and wear proper posing shorts. Okay. That's why I was asking if you practice them though. 
because you are, right now all this bunch of shorts yeah, is like is hiding the yeah. potential gap between your legs. Okay. It's just like that's just leaving a lot of exposure out there unless your fucking adductors are huge. How, you know? how do you do a front roll? Like how do you set up like? From I'm kind of the opposite. My right foot's a little bit more forward, but I'm like this. Okay. So I like get my adductors to like almost touch here. And both, both my feet are flat. Okay. So like you're just the other way around, yeah. but your leg is a little further out, I think. Okay. So maybe even as you practice and you're getting leaner, if you start to notice that, just consciously try and like bring your foot in a little closer so there's no gap between your thigh. Okay. Just to like your line. I see what you're saying, yeah. Try bringing your feet a little more like, let's put, just put your feet where you have them where you would normally put them. Try straightening this to maybe a little bit slight, very slightly in. Both of them less than that, and that one a little bit in too. Like that. And instead of your feet being out, rotate the knees so you're like pushing out. Like twist my knees up? Yeah. And hit a little bit more straight on. I think that looks a little better on your legs. Yeah. Should I keep that like twist in my hips or like the Yeah, I mean offset? it looks good okay. right now, right now, yeah. I I can't if I hit it straight on I don't even look good. Okay. I'm the same thing. I'm kinda of like here and my hips are a little twisted. It's throwing me off so much because I do the reverse of you. Oh, yeah. You hit it like this, I hit yeah. it like that. So it's I feel like I do everything backwards. There's no right way of doing it. And at least when you're doing mandatory, I would still try and keep these arms like level. Level. Okay. At least for mandatories. When you're in a routine or hitting something like for fun, then add whatever flow you want. Do whatever. But I, I see some guys like pro stage like trying to hit like this for a front double, like so crooked to be classic. But like it just it doesn't look good when someone else is beside you and they're, and they're wider and like straight out ahead, you know? Off my brown. <laughs> he, he hits it pretty straight during mandatories. Just a lot of hit. Yeah, you have a pretty fucking crazy physique though. <laughs> I can like tell you're like not like perfectly open, but you're still so wide. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> the huge thing that I need help with is my side chest. Alright, All right. so the grant the fuck it. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, <laughs> he goes all the way down, like, do it again. Is that why you have to do it? It's just like, I don't know, it's just something that like helps me like drag my hemi across, so I'll just be like, whoop! <laughs> do, do not do that on stage. <laughs> I only do it when I fuck around posing. Like, Remember that, keep your body twisted like that, but keep the, see that gap right there? Hide that. Yeah. And try to put your chest up. I'm gonna rotate here. Can you rotate more or are you that stuck? He's that stuck. <laughs> this is a mobile little bitch. That was not so. Yeah, no pregnant bellies. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but no, I mean, your front relax looks good. Like, your, your arm is like this, just like a little more out. Doesn't have to be 90 degrees, but like, you're all the way here, trying to just like, like you want to look big still, without breaking the whole plastic legs. Alright, a tad forward, show your lap fully. And yeah, it's a sick shot though. Alright, so that's gonna be a wrap on today's chest video. Felt pretty good. My ego wasn't bruised yet. Vaughn still a little bit until he replaces me. I probably have one or two more years until I lose my position in reality and I just go live in a cabin in the woods, never talk to anybody else, and get rid of my cell phone and social media and don't even see my parents ever again. But until then, I'm gonna be continuing on this Olympia bodybuilding journey, whatever you wanna call it, trying to get huge, trying to get shredded, trying to look plastic as fuck. So we're working on that, but this gets too consumed and they can't picture them, so. No, but for real. Vaughn's got a sick physique. First show ever. Looks crazy. Physique reminds me a little bit of me of the high lads, small weight. 
all the good stuff you want in classic. So excited to see how he does. And yeah, thanks for watching the workout. I'll see you in the next one.